All right, we're back with another ED critical care video. This one is how to do a cricothyrotomy. And this is quick and dirty. We're not going to give you anatomy and all the uh, bull crap indications. Go to the New England Journal for that stuff. We're going to just show you how to do it. The way. All right, you grab your trach tray and you need three items from it. You need a scalpel, you need a trousseau dilator, and you need a trach hook. That's it. Throw away all the other junk in that kit. Then open up your airway box and grab a 6.5 endotracheal tube, or if you could find it, the smallest trach you could find. All right, that's all you need. Let's go to the procedure. All right, so here we go. Step one, you're gonna find your cricoid. It's the little one down here, thyroid. Big one, obviously we're using the clear skin just for didactic purposes, but otherwise it's all by feel. So this is essentially your Adam's apple up here, your cricho, uh, cricoid cartilage down here, and then the cricothyroid membranes in between them. What you're going to do is with your non-dominant hand, you're going to grip the thyroid between your um, middle finger and your thumb. You're going to get a nice tight grip and not let go, no matter what happens during the rest of this. With your index finger, through the skin, you palpate the cricothyroid membrane. Once you've identified those landmarks, Grab your number 11 scalpel, you cut from the thyroid all the way down to below the, the cricoid. So skin incision. Get your finger through the skin and feel the cricothyroid membrane again with your index finger. From this point on, it's all feel. You don't have to see anything. You can do this with your eyes shut. And in fact, sometimes it's going to be so much blood in there that that's essentially what you're going to be doing. All right. Once you find the membrane, right above where the cricoid cartilage is, right there, you're going to make an incision horizontally. Make it through the full length of the membrane. Now get your finger inside the, uh, the trachea, essentially now. So I have my finger just above the cricoid cartilage inside the trachea. And my finger's not going to leave there until I get something else in. Grab your tracheal hook. That goes in, not with the spike end down. You're going to cut your finger. It goes in with the spike end facing the ceiling. I don't know if you guys could see that. Spike end facing the ceiling, which puts the nice, soft, rounded tip up against your index finger and you're going to slide that into the hole. All right. Now you can take your index finger out because the hook is in there. You're going to hand this off to a partner and retract towards the head. Partner? All right. So now they have the hook inside the, uh, the trachea holding up the membrane facing towards the patient's head. Your next step is dilator. And the dilator wants to open up the trachea vertically, not horizontally vertically. All right. Pop that in and open. Go of it. And now preferably you're going to grab a trach, the smallest trach you could find because it'll be much easier to secure. So if you could find a trach, you go in towards the trousseau dilator. So you don't go in as it's going to sit like that. You're actually going to go in from the side in towards the trousseau dilator. And now just grab over here. Now your trousseau dilator and the trach rotate in one motion. like so. Now the trousseau is facing down towards the patient's feet and only then are you going to advance into your trachea. All right. Once you're in, inflate your balloon and test before you go any further with end tidal CO2 that you're in if you have some partners to help you. Once you've confirmed you're in, gently take out your trousseau, gently remove the hook, you're golden. All right. So here's the deal again. The idea is skin, finger, membrane, finger, hook, dilator, tube. All right? So skin, finger, membrane, finger, hook, dilator, tube. Okay. So grab onto your thyroid. Feel the membrane. Skin. Find the membrane again with your finger. Cut the membrane. Finger. Hook facing towards the ceiling, hand it off, dilator. Now, if you don't have a trach, just use an endotracheal tube. Same thing, horizontally, not towards the feet, towards the actual jaws of your trousseau. Rotate the trousseau, rotate your tube, in. Don't go any further than when you see the cuff of the tube disappear, or else you'll be right main stem. So you have a huge amount of tube sticking out. All right? Let's say you're alone. You don't have a partner now. Let's orient like this. In this case, 
you're actually going to stand close to the head of the patient's bed. All right. Now the same initial thing, you find the membrane with your finger, stabilize, cut from the bottom of the cricoid up to the bottom of the thyroid, feel your membrane, incise your membrane horizontally, and get your finger in there. All right. Now, you're going to use the hook, but you use it a little differently. You still insert it the same way, but now you're going to orient it towards the feet. And now you're going to use it almost like a laryngoscope. All right, so it's going to open up the membrane for you. you. Get your trousseau in and you dilate, again, from head to feet is the way you're dilating. You take your dilator out, and then using the hook to you know, hold out the bottom of the membrane and the top of the cricoid, you just insert your tube as if you're intubating. And this is definitely going to be tougher. And you've got to make sure that you don't actually incise your balloon with your tube. You go in horizontally, orient vertically, and you push your tube in. All right, and that's how you can do it with one person. Now, last thing I want to show you is what do you do if you have no equipment? You still need the scalpel, hopefully an 11 blade, but it doesn't need to be, whatever scalpel you have. And this is a crash crike, all right? So, find the membrane with your finger, skin incision, make it nice and big, find the membrane again, horizontal incision through the membrane, get your finger in there, take the back of the scalpel handle and get it in the hole. Take your finger out, turn the scalpel handle to widen the hole, get your finger back in, take your tube, insert horizontally, orient now vertically, and jam that bad boy in. All right.